Well, hello. Welcome to another Rider Cam TV video with me and Mark. It's recording then. I just have a sip of my coffee from my lovely mug. In your Rider Cam TV, is that a Rider Cam TV hoodie you've got there? Oh yes, it might be. Yes, oh, it right. is. Yeah. Good. Yeah, You're is. not going to mention my Rider Cam TV T-shirt then. Well, Other merchandise is available. A bit old hat now, isn't it? <laughs> 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 anyway, today we're talking about something exciting. So we were contacted quite a while ago by a guy called George from Ultimate Hearing was the NEC, Protection actually. Systems. Two years ago? Oh yeah, well you contacted him, didn't you? Well, I, I, we did video because his, his mate, his lad, did the good you thing in your ear thing and I got some earplugs yeah. on Yeah. And then they then sent you a pair of the squidgy ones, didn't they? Just normal earplugs. Yeah. And we received in the post Another special little gift from them. Well, that's a fact. Got to be honest. They also sent me a set of ear, um, earplugs for listening to, you know, plugging into your phone. So yes, they did. Music. And we did a review on it. We did somewhere up there. So we have got. We have been sent the <laughs> sound. You need me to move this so you no, can read it. No, the Bluetooth sound ear. Oh, I'm very, I'm very jealous. And I tell you what, it's, it is awesome. It really is. So what do you get in the pack? So it comes in like a. Um, a jiffy envelope and the first thing that pops out are these strange looking things and these are ooh, uh, yeah these uh. are the molds of my ear canals or my ears now with um, ultimate ear oh ultimate hearing protection systems they mold the stuff like you would have seen on a previous video and put all the stuff into your ear but because the company um, are way away from us they offer a system where you can get hold of places like um, spec savers and I think it was 25 quid for me and you can have an appointment that do your ear um, impressions for you once they've done them they take them out of their packet package them up for you and then you send them off to ultimate ear and then they that's a pretty good system actually. yeah and then they mold your ear plugs to fit your ears and then when they have done that and they send you your product they also send you your ear molds because it's really handy because if I want another pair I could send these back to them and I haven't got to go through that process and spend that money this is ultimateear.com, isn't it? Yes. Not ultimate. Yeah, ears. There, there is another one, yeah. Very close to it. This ultimateear.com. Yeah, ultimate hearing protection systems. So don't be confused with others. Oh, I am already. Mm. And I suppose them sending this back also helps them with having less storage because they're not the storing people's isn't. stuff. But it's got code numbers and stuff, so it's on a database somewhere. And they are quite weird, but don't lose them if you do have them. Now, normally these are about £235. <laughs> which you would say is a lot of money but they fit a lot of technology into that tiny little or the tiny little earplugs and just for tra transparency they have sent them to us um, for us to review but they're not going to see the video before it goes out it's not one of those things that we have to say nice things we say it as it as it happens to be yeah. um, so thank you to George and Ultimate Ear for sending it down so in the pack Firstly, you start off with this neoprene square case. Zip thing. Yeah, which is really, really nice because the other set that I've got, the normal ones, were in a round case. And mine, are in a, mine are in a, like an oblong case. Weird, isn't it? Perhaps they're yeah, trying different cases. Different but the round case I found is it's hard case, but the zips are, aren't that great and they're starting to fray and fall apart because we use our bikes all the time don't we but inside this is where the magic happens so there is some hang on hang on hang on you can't just open that without doing a sniff test you weirdo oh, okay no it's just neoprene i spent a long time in my life testing neoprene i love you know yeah it's just neoprene it's not <laughs> It's not, it's not like the Drift stuff or GoPro that you smell it, and there's something about that plastic, it just smells really nice. Odd. Yeah. Odd. So, firstly you get a... Psychologist, please get in touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need help. You get a micro SD uh, to USB, I think that's A, but a normal USB to the USB or the micro SD. How many US. US's and S's and A's and B's you've in there? But it's one of those connections, is it micro SD connection? I didn't realise there was a difference in them. 
I know. And that end. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? No, I can't keep up. So you get a connection thing. Yeah. From your computer to your ear thing. Yeah, to charge it up. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Then you get some ear comfort lotion. <laughs> some people call it ear lube. <laughs> How scary is that? Yeah. So you get your ear, ear lotion, and then you get some um, ear plug wipes, two packs of ear plug wipes. They're like alcohol wipe type things. Then you get hearing protection fitting guide. So it tells you all about how to fit the plugs into your ears. You get a user manual, just like that. And I haven't read through this as yet, but you get this little spiky thing. It's like a, a plastic thing with like a... I know what that's like for. Like a tiny little... I know what it's for. ...pin in the top. Is it for cleaning the hole in your... Oh, yeah, it's, it's in for your that, plugs. yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Excellent, so we'll I do that in a minute. Clean your fingernails and things. <laughs> <laughs> and they give you a 10% off, thank you, um, card as well. Having said that, they are providing 15% off, or a discount anyway, 15% I think it is, um, for any Rider Cam TV viewers who want to go ahead and buy any of their products. That's amazing. That is amazing, actually. And I think it... it they're to be commended. Obviously, they want to make money. However, given COVID and the restrictions on lots of people having worked and lots of people losing money, one, their prices haven't gone up, and two, if they're given a discount... We'll just confirm what the amazing. discount is, whether it's 10 or 50. I can't remember what it was now, can you? Yeah, it is. I know, it's going in his pocket. I will tell you right this second if my emails work. Would you... Uh, what are you looking for? Would you like me to sing? <laughs> no, George. See, this is this is this is a problem. I've got so many things going around in my head. But they're offering a fifteen percent um, off anything on, on the store using Rider Cam fifteen, and we'll put that on the video. That's the code, and we'll put it on the thumbnail so you can use it anyway, and in the description. So. Go ahead I know at the yours. very, very start we said, you know, you said how much they cost, and, and I, we were laughing, going, you know, and all that. Lot. However, it's not a lot of money if you think about you losing your, your hearing. No. And I always, it always amazes me that people go, oh, yeah, but you can't hear the bike and all that rubbish. Yeah. In my opinion, obviously, people will have other opinions because they always do. Well, it's funny that you should say that because I've watched a few videos of reviews of this very set and one of the striking things that I heard on a couple of videos was how it was almost silent and you couldn't hear anything. Now I've worn these um, and you'll see in a bit my escapades on the bike wearing them and <laughs> what were you doing? They, well, just riding the bike <laughs> with them in. Now I don't think these cut off the outside world any more than the original ones that we've been using for a long time. I can still have a conversation. You've got to really concentrate on people when they're talking to you because it's cutting off a lot of hearing to you to your brain, isn't it? But I can certainly hear them. I can hear the engine. I can hear the wind noise. I can it's hear not, everything. It's not cutting it off. What it's, it's doing like frequency, is, is it's it? changing the frequency. It's altering, it's dimming the frequency, if you want. Yeah. And it's, you know, I I still have telephone for when I'm riding blood bikes, things like that, and I listen to music. And there's no, I don't find it a problem at all. No. Um, anyway, so this is the Bluetooth sound ear. So... As you can see, there's a right and a left ear plug. They're molded, and then it goes into a wire. This one hasn't got any buttons, but this has got three buttons. And on the top, there is a hole for the micro SD socket or the charging lead. I can never remember what it's called. And then the charging lead, <laughs> yeah. And then what they've got is this real handy, like crocodile clip that snaps down, so you can you can actually hold it in the right place when you're riding, which I think is really good. On your ear. <laughs> On your ear. <laughs> now, the thing that I did notice firstly about these, in comparison to the squidgy ones that I've got, are these are a little bit stiffer because they've got the speakers actually built in them. So what they do say is when you've got them in your ear, don't yank them out by the cable because you'll, you'll end up damaging them. And I don't want to damage 235 quid's worth of stuff. Um, and I also want them to be able to work. But these 
come in a range of different colours. They're made of hygienic, um, cleanable, medical grade silicone. Apparently so. Yeah. They're custom fit and they have got, I'm just reading off here, a 31 decibel, a decibel attenuation, which is amazing, isn't it? Which says the highest attenuation, attenuating custom protection available Ooh. with communications, which is pretty good. Yeah, and it's CE tested and certified with various CE numbers, which is good. Um, they've got like this squidgy tip that they say about, and that's got like the, the hole. And I can't actually, see, yeah, it is a hole that comes from the speaker that just is a hole from the speaker up into your ear canal. So the, the white bit or the clear bit is like squidgier and then it's harder around this bottom bit where the wire goes in and it's a bit squidgy at the top but it fits in so well and these have got a one year guarantee as well I know people say that you know um, it cuts out everything one of the things I found that people do do is they, when they put them in their ears they, and especially when they've got the, the lube on them or you know some other stuff they jam them right in they, yeah. don't, have to, they don't have to be jammed in because it just has to be pushed in hmm. and snug you know it's not like trying to get it all the way down and that because they become uncomfortable then if yeah you, if you're slamming them in your your ears now you can you can bluetooth connect these to your phone as well as something else so i i've connected them to my phone and to my sat nav just to make sure that they work but i have removed them from a sat nav because both mark and i use our sat nav differently than most people do i don't like them talking to me i don't like it cutting out and telling me what to do if i miss a turning it will reroute me anyway it's i'm not an particularly worried like you said it's an adventure and some of the best roads that we've been on and some that have become part of the tours that we run have been from us missing the turn um, and i like to see it and not have interruption on my um music and telephone calls and talking to other people but it's so simple to connect it you just hold the button down get it in pairing mode go into bluetooth it sees it you select it and from there within a couple of seconds it's connected wow now i put these in at home and i put the music i use apple music so connected to my uh, iphone and put the music on there put it up to the top volume and it was way too loud it, it hurt I had to bring the volume down and I found myself using these in the office so I'm sat there doing different things and I found them <laughs> actually using them in the office so you're not talking to anybody yeah as well as in 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 um, my ears on the bike wow now the one thing I've got a question for you though when you're wearing them do you have that wire at the back of your neck or at the front well I think it's a bit of choice I had it in front because these buttons are so close to your ear they're not designed for you to be using them when you're riding along so these are basically designed for you to set them up pair them up sort your music out from your sat nav from your phone however you want to do it and then just ride you shouldn't be fumbling around for buttons while you're riding because that's just not good you should always stop so i think the fact that they're so close and they're tucked in away from you being able to get hold of them actually is really good because you can't try and fumble with them and then then have an accident i had it on the front the front of my um chest and the first thing that i thought <laughs> why did you have to look down the front of my well that's that's my back that's been a long chest. day <laughs> now the first thing that i thought was i don't like muffs you know high collars or anything i can't stand it on the bike and i thought you know good in elizabethan times then would you be those big ruffles you know <laughs> <laughs> would you ride your bike one, one would not <laughs> a big doily <laughs> <laughs> so i put them put them on put the helmet on and I thought that I would get a bit of a tug from down here and it kind of stopped nothing at all. Really, really comfy, wasn't bothered by them at all. Um, the only thing that I would say about these in terms of usability is there's three buttons on there. There's a mode button in the middle and there's a plus and a minus for the up and down volume. The mode button turns it off and on, you hold it down, it tells you in your ear whether it's powering off or powering on. The volume obviously goes up and down and you can hear the difference in that. But when I had it in my ear, 
So I'm getting ready to go out, I've got all my stuff on, put them in my ears, just about to put my helmet on, sorting my music out. I want to be able to find those buttons really, really simply, because if I want to turn the music down, yes, I can do it on the phone, but I found it really quite difficult to find which button is which um, with my gloves on or even just there, because now I've got my helmet on and, oh, that's a bit too loud, I can't actually look down because the helmet's in the way. So what you're saying is your spatial awareness is garbage. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, you know, there is, that's the only downside. They fit in your ears really well. And they say that what you should do is you should put them sort of at that angle and then twist them into your ear canal and then just flop them into your earlobe. For those of you who've been in the military and have had to do that with earplugs on firing ranges and things, it's like pulling the ear and yeah. shoving them in. It's just, but it's not hard, you get used to but, it. And then to take them out, because they shouldn't pull against this, but they will. you just put your finger in there and they just pop out and you just rotate them forward. It couldn't be simpler. And because they've been moulded to your ear, and I've got no doubt that these would be as comfortable as the other ones, I've ridden for eight, nine, ten hours with the other ones in, obviously to stop him for coffee and stuff, but I don't always take them out. And I've never had an issue with them. Can you answer your telephone on? You can answer the telephone How on. How does that work? Well, you would press the button or, because you shouldn't be pressing buttons, if you've got auto answer or voice answer on your... Um, Microphone. ...sat nav or on your phone, so like Siri and things like that, you can, you can say, hey Siri, or whatever like that, and it will you say answer the phone call or answer the phone or whatever you set up, there's a tiny little microphone in there, there's a little hole right at the back, um, so you can use it as a microphone. Now, for me, it may well take place of the interphone. The only downside is you can't pair it with other people so you can't talk to them. That's a positive thing, I think. <laughs> Sometimes I think it is. <laughs> I never pair my helmet to it's like having It's like having insurance for a pillion, isn't it? If you haven't got insurance for a pillion, nobody can ever ride on the back of your bike, can they? And you can say, quite honestly, sorry, I can't take you on the back of the bike. If you've not got a headset, they can't say, well, should we pair it up? Because you can't possibly pair it up. I really don't want to hear somebody's breathing in my ear no. just because they're not talking. No. So I never, ever do that. But I think they're really, really good. Now, top tip. Top tip. Now, you can't use a lot of this. No. Don't lick them. Don't lick them. <laughs> no. Well, we see it all the time with the oh. throwaway ones. People licking them, putting oh, them in their ears. Them the and, and whilst that might work for people, um, you're just putting these germs into your ears and giving your ears real bad problems. If you haven't had those problems, then you've done very, very well to avoid it. But um, these are ster that's a dirty place, your mouth, isn't it? Your ears oh, are, are swearing's dirty. swearing's terrible. Place. However, this ear lube or ear comfort lotion... I might be knocking their sails a little bit here because I use, and I know you use, just simple lip sol, standard lip sol, and that works just as well as this. And I really quite like using that because this, in hot countries, will get <laughs> very runny. runny. And also, if you didn't put the top on properly and you scrunch that down in your pocket, it's going to squeeze out everywhere, whereas the lip sol is kind of a, a tubey type thing. It's more of a solid. Mm. I really enjoyed it. So lip sole, didn't we? Not lipstick. Lip sole. Yeah. <laughs> the stuff you get for colds to stop chap lips. And that works really well. And I, I, I have not ever found with any of these products my ears to ache or be sore. And the one time that it was sore is because I hadn't made sure it was in properly. Yeah. And it was resting against this kind of bony bit before the... I don't know, the cave bit of your ear? I don't the know how much. That's, that's cartilage, the cartilage. It's not a bone. But they're so easy to put in, and the music is so loud. I'm, I could turn them on, and you could tell me if you can hear music from the outside, I suppose. I don't have to listen to your Venga boys again. Pardon? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> so it tells me it's powering on, and it's connected straight away. Wow. So I'm going to play some music. Not going to play that one, or that one, or that one. <laughs> right. Garbage DJ. Can you hear it? Is that what it's called? No. What? I can't hear anything. Nothing? <laughs> Seriously, I can't hear anything. I'm quite glad you couldn't hear that because I could turn it down. 
That was it was really loud. And there's no like music coming nothing, out. Nothing at all. Remember that thing we we tried that had one on, on the back of your helmet. You use your helmet as a microphone. Oh, yeah, don't go there. If you go if you look <laughs> at Domio, Dom, Dom, Domio, yeah. don't don't waste your money. I've been waiting two years for them and they keep fobbing me off. They're just awful. <laughs> awful company. Well, we switched the nerve there, didn't we? Well, yes, we'll do that certainly again. did. Anyway, we've got this sticky thing, and because there's little holes there, I'm presuming that, that it just goes in there to lift the gunk out that might get in there from your ears. I'm not sure you can see that, but it just goes into the hole so you can like fish out the stuff. Yeah. But I well, tell you, you what. Is the thing that you use for getting the SD card out of an iPhone or an Android phone or whatever? <laughs> yeah, it might bend though. All right, okay. Yeah. But I think they're really, really good. Cool. The only downside is that I couldn't feel those buttons. I still. You can feel the, the dents, you try it, you can feel the dents, um, but if you're in a bit of a rush, you can't really feel which one's which or which way up it is. Well, you see, well, my brain works in a different way to yours, obviously, because I'm going, there's the top, and there's the bottom, and the buttons work positive to the top, so louder at the top, <laughs> quieter at the bottom. So I'm already going, that's Problem solved, George. Uh, problem. Ultimately, I don't listen to anything that we're saying, because <laughs> we don't know anything. But... If you um, head over to their website, use Ridercam, T uh, Ridercam 15 um, for your 15% discount, you won't be sorry. I think it would be the best 200 quid that you spent, to be honest. God, I wish I'd got them. Wow, they're, they're just <laughs> really, really good. And the sound quality, there's something we haven't spoke about, the sound quality is really, really good. And I'm not an audiophile. I'm not one of these people that would say, oh, that's not one of these discs, or it's not this bit rate. Whilst there's lots of people that like that sort of thing, and I'd never knock them, if I'm listening to music and I think, oh, that's really good, it doesn't matter to me the quality, as long as the quality is good enough to listen to. But this... We're we talking about the quality of the sound or the quality of the music you're listening to. Oh, the quality of sound. Nobody, yeah. nobody cares <laughs> about plastic Bertrand. Oh come on, right? Miley Cyrus <laughs> <laughs> and Biffy Clyro. Oh, <laughs> um, but they they are really really good. There's lots of bass in there. I can hear the high high notes, the low notes. What do they call that? The treble. Um, Whatever, yeah. You know, there's, there's, yeah. There's certainly a lot of body to the music. But it's, it's set up on your flat. telephone, isn't it? So that's, yeah. that's where that comes from. Really, really good. I haven't had any issues with connectability in terms of losing connection because I usually have my phone either in that pocket um, or in one of my trouser pockets. I think if you lose connection, it's because your phone's dropped, out, <laughs> dropped yeah. out of your pocket. It's on the road behind you. Somewhere. But there's not been a problem with it breaking Brilliant. halfway between. So we recommend them. Really, really, I, I love them to bits, and I think they got so many more uses than just on a bike. If you don't want to listen to your co-workers in an open office, get a pair of these. You can listen to stuff, you can listen, you can Bluetooth it to your computer. Or you can just retire. Well, there is that to it, but some people have got years to go until they retire, haven't they? Thank you, Mark. <laughs> uh, but real versatile kit. The braid, the wire is like braided, but it's like got a plastic sheathing on it, so I think it's, it's going to be quite durable. These are certainly very durable, providing you look after them and fold them up every time and put them in properly. And in the uh, instructions, it'll tell you how to clean them and all the rest of it. So yeah. Because that's, that's important to keep them clean. Yeah. So, but, so here we are on the motorbike, and in my ears, I have got the ultimate hearing protection system sound, Bluetooth sound ear. And I've got to say, that they are so comfortable. Now I'm an advocate of hearing protection anyway, because it only takes a few minutes at the frequency that air going through your helmet or across your helmet or the noises that are around to damage your hearing forever. And I really like to hear things. So I want to keep my hearing as best as I can. And as old as I get, that seems to be changing, but I want to keep it for as long as I've got. And these are certainly a really, really good way of helping to protect that. So. The mouldings, as you will have seen, are a little bit more, a little bit stiffer than the um, normal earplugs that I wear from Ultimate Ear, and that's because they're housing the speakers inside of them. Now they go up to something ridiculous, and I'll put all of the specs on the on the screen. Something ridiculous in terms of decibels, and I've tried it on loud on my phone, Bluetooth connection to the phone, playing music. 
and it's way, way too loud. And I'm not sure whether you can hear the music that I'm playing at the moment. So I've, I've picked a music track from Google's or from YouTube's audio library so we didn't get any license hits or copyright strikes or anything. So I'm not sure whether you can hear that and we'll be able to find that out when we watch the video back and we put it into the overall video. But in terms of comfort, they, they are a little bit stiffer. So they're a little bit stiffer to get into your ear than the normal ones, but then I guess I've got used to those normal ones. But they do fit in so well and ultimately yeah, they're really good. You have your moulds done, you send them off, or you can get them to do it for you, but I did mine via spec savers and it cost I think 25 quid for me to do it at spec savers. So I did that, sent them off, um, and they send you your molded earplugs but they also send you your molds so should you wish to buy any more products from them you send them your molds and they put your new do your new earplugs uh, from that and that's really good so that's what I got in the pack you would have seen the packet but in terms of noise cancellation now they're not necessarily a noise cancellation system they're a hearing protection system so riding along um, I have heard on other YouTube channels and other people that have used this sp specific set that it almost makes everything silent. Um, now, I'm not noticing that. I'm noticing the drastic reduction in noise from the engine, from the road, from the uh, frequency of the wind going past my helmet, all of that jazz. Um, it dramatically decreases that and it does take away a lot of the wind noise that's through your helmet that sort of stuff if so if you've got a noisy helmet that's affecting your ears this will certainly help so it has taken all of that away for me for me um, but i wouldn't say that they're any different in terms of cancelling noise out from the outside world than the normal earplugs that i've got from ultimate ear so I'm really pleased with that because I thought, well, these are going to be playing music directly into my ear and my normal setup is my normal earplugs in the helmet. I've got my Interphone um, Avant on the side of the helmet plugged in and with that plugged in, I can hear my music, although I have to turn it up a little bit higher than normal, but I can hear my music. If I've got those earplugs in, I can have a normal conversation with people. It does mean that I have to spend a little bit more time listening to what they're saying and concentrating on the conversation and perhaps doing a little a little bit of lip reading but you can get by quite easily with the earplugs in by and speak to people in a normal conversation certainly when you stop alongside a fellow biker and you're talking to them you can just about make out what they're hearing so there is that to contend with but i'd rather have my hearing than, than be able to hear exactly what they're saying on the off chance that i might stop and talk to somebody um, the music quality on these heads, on these um, earplugs, is immense. Absolutely immense. I, I, I can't believe they've managed to fit into such a small package, such a, a piece of sound quality. Now, I'm not an audiophile. I just know a bit of music that I like when I like it, and I like the quality of the music when I'm listening to it. Now. There will be people that would like one thing over another, this bit rate over another bit rate to make the music better. And I'm not content contesting what they're saying about higher bit rate being better, but for what I use, I use Apple Music. I've Bluetoothed it to my phone, which was a breeze by the way, and listening to the music and the sound quality is just really, really good. In some ways, an awful lot better than the sound quality of me playing music through my phone event with my head head um, with my old plugs in my head because obviously I haven't got to have them so loud because the music's going straight into my ear through that tiny little hole right into your ear canal so in terms of that it's made the the sound quality or the quality of the music a lot lot better but I guess that's that's just physics without having to be blast it out loud so it gets through certain things within your helmet and then into your ear. They're very, very comfortable. Now, the original earplugs that I've used from Ultimate Ear, I've ridden for tens of thousands of miles, ridden all around the world using them in different climates, both hot and cold, um, sunny, rainy, you name it. 
and they've never failed me at all. Now, they do come with a little stick of ear lube, I think they call it. It's quite spooky, isn't it? Who, who wants to lube your ears up? Anyway, now I haven't used that. I used that lube when I first got them, but what I've got is a really cheap um, stick of lip sole, and that works just as well. And, you know, I've never had any problems using lip sole on those earplugs. In fact, it's really quite nice actually because you haven't got to worry about buying extra bits, extra um, packs of lube, or you haven't got to worry about leaving the top off and it getting squished and going everywhere in your top box. All you've got to worry about is your um, your um, lip sole not running out. Wouldn't it be lovely if people actually used indicators when they drove their boxes? I don't know. Anyway, back to the ear earplugs really like them now the thing that I was initially worried about with these is that they come with a wire now that wire dangles down and I've chosen to dangle it down in front of me and I thought that would get caught up in my collar of my jacket but it's not getting caught up at all actually it's quite comfortable to have have it in I can turn my head from side to side I can look around I don't feel that it's pulling tight on any ear it just fits in really really nicely the case that comes with them is really really good and I think it's definitely an improvement over the case that I had with the original uh, normal earplugs because it's square and the one that I've got that I had with the original ones was round and I have found that that started to the zipper started to pull apart and fray quite easily made of like a plasticky material rather than this one being made out of like a, um, a soft shell type material which seems a little bit better and you can get more in it now these earplugs aren't I mean you can take phone calls on the go um, providing you've got voice answer on your phone that sort of thing you can use Siri I guess if you've got that activated on your phone and you can connect it to more than one thing so at the moment I've only got it connected to my mobile phone I have had it connected to my sat nav but the thing is my sat nav doesn't I don't use my sat nav in the same way that many people will use their sat nav so I have my phone connected to my Avant or my Interphone Avant and I have my sat nav connected to it and I turn off all the voice prompts because for me if you're out and about with mates and you're talking suddenly the sat nav says at the next roundabout take the third exit and then you're just about to tell them where you're going to go and then it comes in and says take the third exit so I take all of the voice prompts off off completely I think it's it's much works much better for me and I like to be able to know where I'm going and I've only got to drop my eyes a few inches to have a look at the sat nav and it tells me where I need to go if I do make a mistake and I miss a turn in well do you know what it will reroute me so there's there's no bother and very often when you get it wrong and you have to be rerouted you found find such a better road and I found some amazing roads around the countries that I visited in um, through missing turns on my sat nav it's brilliant and some of those roads have been incorporated into the next tour of that country which has been really really good um, so all in all really comfy bit of kit um, I think the battery life is going to be insane it's something like nine and a half hours or something ridiculous um, in such a small package the only downside that I can see to it is it's not meant for you to be able to press your buttons when you're going along because the buttons are on the wire but the only thing that kind of I, I don't quite get with them is that the buttons are really really hard to find so if you imagine you're taken away, you put them in, you're not on your bike, but you put them in and you're getting set up ready for your ride. You're kind of taking away one of your senses first off because you're not moving, you've got no air, wind noise, you've got no noise around you. So you're kind of shutting yourself off to the world. And the wire has got the buttons on it. So in order to get to the wire on the buttons, you can't actually see it because they're so, they're so close to your ear that you can't look down because your chin's in the way, and you, you know, unless you can um, disconnect your, your neck muscles and turn your neck and double joint it I don't see that you can see what you're pressing and I do find that even without gloves on just with normal fingers that it's quite a faff to find out which button is the button you need to 
press to turn it on or to turn it off or to turn the volume up or to turn the volume down. But that's a minor criticism. I mean, once you get used to using it, you'll know where those buttons are. But I, I do think that they could be a little bit more pronounced because the, the, the circular button holder, if you like, where the buttons are, that little gizmo on the wire, is like a round shape. So there's no way of feeling and knowing that you're on the flat shape where the buttons are going to be and then fumbling around for the buttons is a bit of a pain. But I tell you what, it's a brilliant, brilliant system and I found myself the last few days sat in the office when I've had some important work to do or some invoices to send and just putting these in and listening to them so neighbours and you know noise that's happening outside isn't going to distract me from doing what I'm doing and I found them really really comfortable and they would be comfortable because they're moulded to my ears so I think from my point of view they get a massive thumbs up the sound quality is incredible the comfort is incredible fitting that sort of technology into such a small package is amazing just wish those buttons were just a tiny bit more identifiable through touch as opposed to having to try and remember where they are connection to bluetooth really really simple i love them to bits and i think i'm going to be using them for an awful lot and i tell you what when i'm out and about if i get when i get my next helmet it might be when i'm out and about i might do away with the interphone um, avant and just use these as my bluetooth connection see how we go because uh, i don't use the radio and that sort of stuff i just use it to listen to music off the phone so I think, all in all, they've come out with an amazing little package. It is £235, but I was thinking about the, the expense. £235 isn't a huge amount of money for the longevity that these give. So if you're buying throwaway um, ear plugs, it's not going to be long before you reach that £235. It might take a couple of years, but this has got the functionality of having noise cancellation in terms of protecting your ears that's what i mean listening to music via bluetooth connecting to your sat nav all those bits of gadgets that you you kind of want want in a headset but without any of the issues and it's a one-off payment and i i think they're really really good i don't think you'll go wrong if you get them because they're really really comfy so i am going to sign off if you like the video give it a massive thumbs up Hit the subscribe button which will be somewhere on the screen um, and head over to Ultimate Ear and get yours if you're so inclined. They have been, drop the bombshell now, um, we sh would have said it sometime in the video but they are doing a 15% discount for any Rider Cam TV video uh, viewers. So head over there, see what you think, get yourself a pair, you won't be sorry, they're really really good and you'll be protecting your ears for years to years to come and probably make your ride a little little bit safer and that's all i gotta say it, they're just great i can't i can't go on anymore they're just really good and i'm looking forward to going away on a tour with them because uh, i know that they're comfortable i've worn the others all day long um, for hundreds and hundreds of miles and never had a problem with them so thumbs up subscribe see you in the next video